In this video, we're talking about Madden 23 meta review or just some big kind of picture concepts that we take away from Madden 23 into Madden 24. And I actually think this concept we're about to talk about today is going to be one of the big findings of Madden 23 that will actually impact the way Madden 24 is going to be played specifically on the offensive side of the ball. And it's because it just kind of makes sense uh, if you think about the concept. So uh, we're going to be talking about a play out of the New Orleans playbook out of the tight offset tight end formation. And we're going to be talking about PA shot seams. Now there's other plays out of compression that are really, really good um, that have the same style of corner route, this deeper corner route. Um, if you take a look at PA shot seams and you compare that uh, play, let's say to bench, you're gonna notice a significant difference in the angle that the corner route is being ran. And uh, this is going to create opportunity uh, for a big corner, little corner concept um, that we're gonna be going over in the video today. Now, if you wanna get my entire New Orleans tight offensive ebook, uh, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that's going to be in the description. For just 10 bucks, you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates and all of the stuff that we're doing to get ready for Madden 24. So $10 gets you everything, over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as updates and all the new stuff that we're doing. So if you want to sign up for that, that's in the description. But PA shot seems we're talking about this big corner, little corner, little big corner, little corner uh, concept. So uh, real quick, if we were to run this play bench here, and let's say we run it like just like this right here, okay? You're gonna notice that if I was to jump into cover four drop and I was to play hard flats, you're gonna notice something about this play. The hard flat will take away the out route, and the outside quarter is gonna take away that corner route over there on the left side of the field, the short side of the field. The beauty of the big corner, little corner concept is the corner is going to run his route almost into the outside quarter zone. Essentially, it's a bigger or deeper bench concept, okay? So if I run the same exact coverage, big corner, little corner, this is a slot apprentice or Howard Master setup. We're gonna basically put this guy on the left side, this outside left receiver, on a corner route. That's pretty much it. Then you kind of build around that. And what you're gonna notice is by using this, now that hard flat can't play him, and we have that corner route, that does a really good job at getting separation, specifically against zone and man coverage. This year, man coverage, or man coverage is very meta. And the beauty of this is also in the fact that, you know, basically we have a, a corner route that is useful against man coverage. Typically in Madden's, not necessarily this year, but typically in general in Madden, uh, streaks are not helpful to beat man, especially if they have safety help over top or whatever. So by having a corner route, now we're ha able to have um, a route that can run itself open against man coverage. But also, let's take Tampa 2, for example. This cloud flat on the left side, you'll see right here that I can throw this, kind of getting it over the top of that cloud, even though I'm on the short side of the field. So they're gonna have to play um, zone drops and they're gonna have to start dropping zones back. And it's gonna look something, some variation is gonna look something like this, okay? So imagine that cloud's gonna be you know, backed off and it's gonna be able to play that shorter corner route. Now what we can do though, is because we're on the short side of the field, we force them into a double Mabel concept or double Mabel coverage where they're having 30 yard cloud flats. Now we can run a concept like this that is gonna do a really good job at being able to just destroy the, the uh, cover three or cover two Mabel concept that somebody's going to run. As you can see right there, able to get over the top um, of the deep defender. So this really gives us a lot of flexibility and versatility for how we're gonna be able to attack zone. Now I did mention that this gives us also some ver uh, versatility into man coverage. And that is because this corner out on the left side, that is gonna essentially be a uh, another version of a streak. It can beat man coverage, okay? It doesn't always beat man coverage. Doesn't always, especially if they have inside shade or you know, different things like that. But if they're gonna run man coverage across the board, this does beat man fairly consistently. And then you still do have your other corner route as well. As you can see right there, able to have a big play for you um, against man coverage. Now, I think utilizing the deep corner routes as pull routes is something that is going to stick 
uh, in future years of Madden. And the reason why is because of how much more helpful they really are uh, against man coverage. So for example, um, let's say that we wanted to run a slant post concept. So maybe we wanna run something like this where we take Cromarty and we're gonna put him on a post and we're gonna utilize this deep corner route to clear out space. Then we're gonna put Gronkowski on an out route and we're gonna have that slant come in just like this. So this concept is really good because what it would normally look like is essentially it would look something like this right here, okay? Which is still a really good concept. But now that streak is a legitimate threat to be able to beat man coverage over the top. So you have your clear out and then you also have that post kind of coming underneath it. Now, if we go back to the cover four example and show why this is so good against zone is now you can basically take two defenders out of the play with the corner out. You can take the inside quarter and the deep quarter. And so now this is much, much cleaner and better separation over the middle of the field. So that is kind of a little bit about the big corner, little corner concepts largely going to be done out of compression sets. But there are other ways and other implementations for this. Uh, for example, you can use the speed out route, which is really good. And then let's say they go zone and you're going to utilize. Now you're going to put Harold Carmichael on the regular corner route. OK, because it's going to break a little sharper. So you'll see right here that, you know, maybe throw something like this. Now, the hard flat does play that route, but I'm just saying as an idea, um, you could do something like that. There's other corner routes like um, I think there's a, there's one that's called curl flat in bunch. It's, I'm pretty sure it's in the Colts book um, or the Bengals. It might be in the Bengals book, actually. Um, but that has a deeper corner route that you can throw and pair that with that slot apprentice corner route. So super valuable little concept here. And I do think it's going to be uh, something we're going to use uh, consistently over the course of Madden because it's so effective at being able to pull zones, being able to also offer you a man-to-man -man read. And then when you, in the, in the chance that you do get them uh, to run, you know, some kind of double maple like this, then you give yourself a really good chance uh, for a big play if you if you call this setup at the right time. So really, really good play out of tight offset this year. And I think it is going to set the meta for, for Maddens to come. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire, um, all of my eBooks, everything, join the Patreon. You get access to everything for just 10 bucks. The link is down in the description below.